hey you guys and welcome back to my channel so i have taken off the glitter from my old set and i wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support and all the likes and nice comments that you guys get you guys gave me on this clear set i really appreciate it and it just makes my day every time i read a nice comment from you guys thank you so much for watching so I'm using my Mia Secret dehydrator and primer. So I've already taken off, actually I took off more acrylic than what I needed because my initial thoughts was filing down the acrylic and taking the glitter off and then I was going to do my filling with white acrylic. Because I was thinking the white acrylic would make the purple pop more. But actually, I was like, you know what? Let me test it out. And it did not. <laughs> so it was still the same color purple. So I was like, you know what? I just did all that taking down the clear off my nails for no reason. <laughs> so I had to build the nail back up with clear again. Extra work for me. <laughs> so also, you guys... You can take this time out if you haven't already make sure that you subscribe to my video if you like the video make sure that you hit the thumbs up button if you're new to my channel if you notice i do have ads placed on my video so my channel is monetized so all of the money that i get from my youtube channel helps me pay for my nail school so I'm also in nail school and I'm so excited. I'm trying to get my license. Well, not trying. I'm going to get my license. We're going to speak it into existence. I'm going to get my license. So I really use all the money that I get from YouTube to help me pay for nail school. So the only thing you have to do if you want to help me out is hit the like button and comment below what you think about the video. The more likes I get and the more comments I get, the more money I make and you'll help me pay for nail school. Thank you so much. I would really appreciate it. And if you happen to like my content and you like my channel, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe. And I will be back and talk to you kind of randomly through the video. I tried to speed this up so it wouldn't be so long for you guys. right here this is the purple glitter mix that I made and I call it purple paradise and I thought it was so cute what do you guys think about the name purple paradise I love it so I put this on one nail <laughs> and this color was so cute so cute I loved it but because my nails are matte and like I really wanted to show off the purple mat my boyfriend was like why are you gonna put that on all the nails because like you're gonna take away from the matte purple and I was like you know what you are absolutely right <laughs> I was like if I do designs on all these nails you're not really gonna see the matte purple that I really fell in love with it's why I did this set so I didn't do a lot of glitter I only did this one nail and I know so many of you guys was waiting for me to just really throw down with this glitter <laughs> but there are other videos to come where I will be using this glitter again but I only used it on one nail and I think it, it came out pretty
pretty cute. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the glitter and only putting it on the tip and I'm making like a V shape because I'm not using color acrylic. I'm only going to use polish. So I'm making the V shape and on the other part of my, on my nail towards the cuticle, I'm going to use polish in that area. And um, first I'm going to encapsulate this in clear. And then I'm going to polish the purple polish in that area. You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> I'm having a hard time trying to explain it.
So I also wanted to give you guys a tip. I'm using this Vanalisa gel pot and it's in number 1594 and it's like a purple color. I'm also going to use the base coat that come with it and the OPI matte top coat. And if you guys see right here, this is another DIY fix it yourself nail tip. <laughs> okay, so these gel pods, when I do it with a actual brush, it was not going on smooth enough for me. So the polish was having like little lines in the polish from the brush and it, it was just irritating me on another level so i was like you know what what can i do to apply this polish better where it goes on smooth so i never use a base coat on gel polish so i decided to go ahead and use the vena not gel polish well yeah i never used the base coat when i use gel polish on my acrylic nails i always just use the gel polish but because I was having a hard time getting the gel polish to go on smoothly with no lines in it, I decided to go ahead and put on the base coat and it did work. So if you have these Vinalisa gel pods, you would want to use the base coat with the polish first and then put the polish on and it'll go on a little more smoothly. Also, the brush. <laughs> I took a clear, well at first I had a clear um, nail polish bottle and I just took the polish out of it, took the brush out of the polish and put some acetone on it and got all of it out. But that brush was too small and skinny so it still didn't give me that smooth ap application. So I found a nail polish bottle that I already had here and it was this little cute little color right here and what I did was I just dipped it in a little acetone and got all of the polish off of it and look at it now it polished so smoothly and I absolutely love this idea so if you guys need your if you have one of these a couple of these little pods and you're having trouble with getting your polish to go on smooth Make sure you use the base coat and also use a nail brush, an actual polish brush. Just get the polish out of it, dip it in the pot, and you have a regular polish brush. Ta-da! So let me know down in the comments below, you guys, what you think about this idea of me using the polish brush for the gel pods. To get a smooth application and if you've used this before so if you've tried this before if you've tried this before and you like it comment below let me know what you think or if you think it's an idea come a good idea comment below and let me know what you think because i think it turned out really pretty and i really really love it and i probably will be doing this idea with all my little gel pods
so this is the end result you guys and this opi is a regular gel polish it's not a um gel polish that you have to use with the led or a uv lamp you know i've had that one previously and i really didn't like it but this regular polish matte top coat is so awesome i really like it i really love how this turned out if you guys like it make sure that you give me a thumbs up i thank you guys so much for all of your love and support i really appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe love you guys bye